Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy Aguilar, communication specialist with the San Juan Unified School District, and we are here at Rio Americano this evening celebrating the spirit of San Juan. That's right, the spirit of San Juan celebration. This is the sixth time that we are celebrating so many awesome people from the San Juan Unified School District. And let me tell you, this year, 170 nominations. So many wonderful people out there nominated for the spirit of San Juan. And tonight, we are honoring six of those wonderful people from students, staff, and just community members coming together to do so many wonderful things for the San Juan Unified School District. So if you are watching us on Facebook, be sure to send them a message. Congratulations, maybe some balloon emojis or some flowers. So we're going to let you meet some of these wonderful characters tonight. You can see everybody's gathered out here. We have a reception this evening where they're bringing their friends and family who are so, so excited and so proud of all these people and all the wonderful work that they do for our district. So I'm going to start over here on this side, right over here. I'm going to introduce you to this young man over here. So this is Anthony Jackson. Tell us a little bit about you and your character because we've heard so many wonderful things you're brand new at a school yes, at Mariloma yes, Height yes. right and you've made so many friends and so many people had so many yes. wonderful things to say about yes, you yes. what keeps you motivated to to make so many friends uh, you know being around people like my dad and my family right here behind me they they really motivate me to do better we, each of them you know they keep smiles on their faces we keep a light heart you know we like to joke around so I come from smiles, you know, especially that man over there, James Jackson. You know, we come from smiling. You can see it. You look at that big cheese on his face right there. <laughs> Yes, that is one thing that people said about you, your wonderful smile. We got so many, you got so many compliments on that. Yeah. So sometimes when you're having a bad day, yeah. how do you stay positive and you keep that big smile on your well, face? You got to kind of understand there's a lot of people that if you're having a bad day, there's 10 other people having a bad day. So if you can smile for them, you can, you can probably turn your day around too in the end. So, you know, while you smile, you help other people at the same time. There you go. So if you are watching us on Facebook Live, how about a big smile? Maybe some of those emojis with a big smile. Those would be wonderful to send to our friend Anthony Jackson. So I'm going to continue to walk around. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. We have our friends who brought all these wonderful pastries. Take a look at this. I wish that we could pass those on to you through Facebook Live, but unfortunately we can't. So we're going to continue to enjoy them here. And I'm going to find another one of our honorees right over here this young lady introduce yourself to our friends on Facebook live hi my name is Anastasia Kadzakos I'm a senior at Del Campo High School and just an all-around member of Kids Helping Kids Sacramento the International Club and as many groups on campus as I can so yes like you said you belong to a lot of clubs and so many people had so many wonderful things to say about you because you're just all over the map doing so many wonderful things and with a busy schedule as you have as, as a senior how do you find the time to do all these things? I've been really fortunate to have a lot of wiggle room with my teachers. Um, a lot of the different activities I'm doing, for example, Kids Helping Kids, that has its own class period, so I can use some school time. And then after that, I've definitely, it's been trial and error with finding which organizational system works for me, a lot more errors. But in senior year, I've kind of settled on a method that works for me and catching up on what I can between classes and between homework. <laughs> So. And so, as you said, you are leaving our school, but we want to leave a message for the kids coming right behind you. What do you want to tell them? I think, and if anyone asks me again, I'll say it again, are the most important thing we can do as human beings is to live actively. And when you live actively, that means you learn actively. You're constantly striving for that never-ending improvement for yourself and for the people around you, for your community. So, I mean, take part in the school. Join clubs, drop clubs, join more clubs. Take those classes even if you don't think you're going to succeed. Go to the games and the awesome events that you don't think you'll be interested in. Just try it and be active in, in your life. And, and always cheer on Del Campo. Go Cougars. There you have it. And speaking of being active, if you are watching us on Facebook, don't forget to send those emojis and congratulate some of our wonderful honorees tonight. So introduce yourself to our friends on Facebook Live. Uh, my name is Saeed Mansour. Uh, I'm the school community refugee specialist at San Juan Unified School District. And this is a really exciting moment for me. 
Yes, it is an exciting moment. So let me tell you a little bit about this young man. So many people had so many wonderful things to say about him. Not only is he helping the kids at our school district, he's also helping the parents and so many other community uh, members as well. Now, a lot of the times what I heard is that you give out your cell phone number and you're working on the weekends and you're just going above and beyond. Why do you do so much? Because uh, I love to help the, my community. I love to be in service of human being. And this is the mindset I have grown up with. So the feeling that as a human being we should have always in our mindset is to serve the community member, no matter in which situation, which time, where we are. There you go. Serve our community. Congratulations again. It's going to be a wonderful night. If you haven't made it out here just yet, you still have some time to get out here and join us because it's going to be a wonderful celebration. So many wonderful people out here being honored tonight. And I have this young lady right over here. Congratulations. The Spirit of San Juan. Introduce yourself to our friends. Uh, Janelle Egan, Pastor Middle School Secretary. So, uh, I, I met you before and we worked on your video and the kids, the teachers, the staff had so many wonderful things to say about you, going above and beyond, doing so much, making people smile. What keeps you so happy and so positive every day? Just being able to work with students and teachers that, you know, the staff at Pasture is just amazing. You know, I couldn't ask for a better group of uh, team players is what I would call them. So we're basically one big family and that's what keeps me going every day. There you go, one big family. It keeps you going, it keeps you smiling and sharing that moment. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, nervous <laughs> and, you know, very blessed. So, yeah, I want to thank everyone for their, you know, just the nomination, which was a surprise. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, the school, the, the kids, and the district, definitely blessed to have you around. Congratulations again. Thank We're you. so excited to have you. Like I said, so many people nominated for this award, the Spirit of San Juan. And we are honoring six of those people tonight. And that's why we are here celebrating. And so I have another one of our friends right over here. Young men, come on down, as they say. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, a little nervous, but in good spirits. No need to be nervous. So, first of all, let's introduce you to our friends on Facebook Live. Hi, my name is Ronnie Hopkins. And so, Ronnie, I've seen you at work with the kids, having a good time with them. So, how do you stay, how do you keep up with them? Because these kids are running around, and they're so fast, and they have so much energy. But you have just as much energy. How do you have all that energy? Uh, they keep me young. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. They keep me young. They, that's my workout for the day. Yeah, there you go. And what keeps you motivated to come back to work day after day? Uh, just knowing that every day you can make a difference in a child's life. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this young man right over here. He loves his shoes, okay? So somebody told me about you giving your shoes and kids asking you about your shoes. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh... Just one day I had a kid at school and he had a hole in his shoes and uh, I took the shoes that I had on my feet off because I knew I had another pair in the car and I gave them to him. And ever since then, I just find a way to find somebody who needs a pair of shoes that maybe can't afford them or in need of a pair. Oh, that is just so wonderful. Again, a true, honest display of the spirit of San Juan, and we thank you for that as well. Another comment that I want to make is um, that they said that you were about their same size. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that makes it a little bit easier for me. I think that they gravitate towards me because I am on the shorter side, so uh, they always come up to me and say, Mr. Ronnie, I'm almost as tall as you. And so, you know, that just makes for a good conversation with him. There you go. Congratulations Thank again. You. Good to have you at our school, our district. And we're going to continue to move on through right over here to find our next honoree. So I'm going to find Teresa right over here. How are you feeling, young lady? Uh, very well. Thank you. I have some of my favorite people surrounding me. That is wonderful. So these are your students. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to work with all these people from the community. Oh, it just feels like a privilege. It is a privilege. I, I dreamed of it 
for many years while I was teaching children. I just thought an ideal retirement life would be teaching immigrants to speak English and the district and my principal at the time and my current principal have been so supportive and they just let me focus on the teaching any way I want, any teacher's dream. What a wonderful young lady right over here. So instead of being traveling the world, you are here with the community during your retirement. That is just amazing. What keeps you motivated and going every single day? Uh, just the looks in their eyes or having them express something this day that I know they didn't know how to do the day before. That's just just their eyes, their smiles, everything. They are like my extended family. That is wonderful. Now, somebody mentioned, uh, or you mentioned, excuse me, that when you were teaching, you would see some of the parents and you would kind of hear that they wish that they could understand the teachers talking. And now that you are able to teach all these people and they could understand the teachers when they go visit their kids' school, what is that like for you? Well, it's just doing what I dreamed of them doing. Uh, the, the, the mothers that talked to me during conferences were just so sad that they were kind of stuck while their children were progressing in this country and their husbands were, and because they had children. So we set it up so we had a class and we just say, bring on your kids with the, and just come when you can. And so it's worked out very well. It's not as structured and... Uh, um, organized as most classes might look, but it's working the way I want it to. That is awesome, and it keeps the families coming back, right? Yeah, yeah, even if they have to take a, a long absence, say they've got a pregnancy or something, they go for a, a while, and then they come back, and we try to just, okay, now how do we get you so that you can hang with everybody who's been here while you were gone? That is awesome. So if you are watching us on Facebook Live, be sure to put some emojis, some flowers, some congratulations for all of our honorees because, in fact, what they do is beyond amazing. They come to work and they show up every day with a big smile on their faces and they are doing something wonderful for the community. Any message that you want to give to our friends in the community about doing things and just, and just being helpful? Ah, find what you love doing, what you're good at, and think and think of how you can use that to help somebody else because we all need it. There you go. I absolutely love it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still here. You could see all the people who come out here. They have flowers for the honorees. They are excited. And this show is about to get started. But if you are still around here, you still have plenty of time to come. You can come take your picture with some of our honorees. You can come and cheer for them. And of course, we want to thank you for watching this Facebook Live. And of course, if you know any of our honorees, 170 people nominated. Be sure and say congratulations. We'll see you next time.